The Finance Act is a money bill within the meaning of Article 114 of the Constitution. However, it contains some matter that would not fall within the purview or incidental to a money bill, although it although this does not change its basic character and substance as a money bill. The specific extraneous matters identified by the court pertain to amendment of the Kenya Road Board Act 1999 through section 76 and 78 of the Finance Act, amendments to the Unclaimed Assets Act by section 87 of the Finance Act and repeal of section 21 of the Statutory Instruments Act by sections 88 and 89 of the Finance Act. These amendments are extraneous to a man money bill and are therefore unconstitutional. That under Article 220 and 221 of the Constitution, estimates of revenue and estimates of expenditure are part of the budget making process. The estimates of revenue are were included in the approved estimates containing the Appropriation Bill and the Appropriation Act of 2023, as published in the Kenya Gazette Supplement Number 87 of 20 of 15th June 2023 and 98 of 26th June 2023, respectively. We also find that the purport of Article 96.2 as read together with Article 114 is that the Senate is precluded from considering a money bill, which is only introduced in the National Assembly. However, in the matter of the Speaker, the Supreme Court held that it is necessary uh, for the Speaker of the National Assembly to agree on the nature of the na nature of a bill, any bill prior to introduction in any house. Consequently, the failure of the Speaker of the National Assembly to seek agreement with the Speaker of the Senate on the nature of the bill prior to its introduction in the National Assembly, in our view, does not vitiate the resultant act as such concurrence is not a requirement under Article 114 of the Constitution. We find that there is ample evidence that the National Assembly contacted sufficient public participation in respect of the Finance Act. The National Assembly, having had the views of members of the public and industry stakeholder on the bill, is not precluded from effecting amendments to the bill before passing it. There is no express obligation on Parliament to give reasons for adopting or rejecting any proposals by members of the public. Nonetheless, we think that in enhancing uh, accountability and transparency, it is desirable that uh, relevant committee, after conducting public participation, gives reasons for rejecting or adopting promotion, uh, proposals received. Uh, we have looked at Section 2 and 21 of the Finance Act that amended Section 35 of the Income Tax Act to introduce digital monetization, and we find that this is a tax on income, and it is permitted, and it is not uh, uh, unconstitutional. The digital asset tax is a tax on income, and it is not unconstitutional. The tax on winnings is a tax on income, and it does not violate the fourth schedule part two of the Constitution, as it does not impair the functions of county government. We have also looked at section 26 of the uh, Finance Act that amends the third schedule of the Income Tax Act by introducing new bans, and these are matters that we do not consider unconstitutional. We've also looked at section 33 of the VAT Act that introduces VAT on insurance com uh, compensation. We find that it does not violate Article 40, and it is not unconstitutional. We have looked at sections 30 to 38 of the Finance Act, which amend sections 5, 8, 12, 17, 34, 30, 34, 43, first schedule, second schedule of, uh, of the VAT Act, and we do not find them in violation of the Constitution. We also looked at section 48 of the Finance Act, which amends sections 2, 20, 28, and 14, first and second schedule of the Excise Duty Act, and by introducing section 361A and 36A, uh, and we do not find them unconstitutional. And we also have looked at the changes in tariff headings and rates under the Excise Duty Act, and we do not find them unconstitutional. And we find that the introduction of the housing levy amend, uh, amendment to Section 84 lacks a comprehensive legal framework in violation of Article 10, 201, 2010 of the Constitution. That levy against uh, uh, persons in formal employment to the exclusion of other non formal income earners without, justific without justification is discriminatory and irrational and arbitrarily and in violation of section articles 27201 b1 of the constitution and flowing from those findings we find as follows that uh, and these are our declarations section 76 to 78 of the finance act amending section 7 of the roads board act 
87, amending Section 28 of the Unclaimed Assets Act, Section 88 and 89, repealing Section 29 of the Statutory Instruments Act, are unconstitutional, null and void. That Section 84 of the Finance Act violates Article 10, 2BC, 27, and 201 of the Constitution and is therefore null and void. Uh, that an order is granted prohibiting the respondents from collecting, charging, or otherwise um, the charge known as the Affordable Housing, Housing Act on the basis of the Section 84, and all prayers on the consolidated petition not specifically granted are dismissed, and this being a matter of public interest litigation, each party shall bear its own costs. <laughs>